Alright, now that we know how to shoot videos and photos and view and delete our videos and photos, now I'm going to teach you how to export those videos and photos onto a computer so that you can edit video, put the photos into Photoshop, and share them out, export them, share them with whoever it may be that you want to share your videos and photos with. So, first, in order to connect our camera to the computer, we're going to have to supply the camera with an e external source of power. Again, go to the back of the camera. Here's our mode select knob, and to the left of it, there's going to be a flap that says DC in on it. This is where we are going to and just pull this back, and you can see a port there, and this is where we are going to plug in our power cord. See, so plugs in just like that and the cord then plugs into the wall. Nice and simple. So now our camera has power. What we need to do now is connect it to the computer. If you go on the side of the camera that has the hand strap and lift up the hand strap, there's this flap underneath, which if you lift up, there are several ports in it. One on the far right is sending out an HDMI signal. The middle one is for a USB connection and the far left one is for a component. Now, right now, connecting it to the computer, we're going to want to use the middle port, a USB. So, in order to do that, take our USB cord and simply, uh, of course you have to get it the right way around, and simply plug it in to the USB port. The other end plugs into your computer and you can then import the photos and videos into your computer using any program you so desire, be it the programs that came with the camera or something like iMovie or Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, anything you want. In order to play it on to play uh, your videos and photos on a TV, it's a very similar process. In of course you need to make sure that your TV has the correct input ports on it, and the camera can output uh, video or photos to a TV in several modes. Uh, first is HDMI. Um, again, it's very simple, just plug that in there, and plug it into your TV and you're good to go. Same with USB, same with component. Also, for a basic audio video, input is this other flap out opposite uh, the power cord is going to be another port for um, audio for a basic audio video output.